Hey Taurus, this is Moon Pie Tarot here doing your love reading for the month of July. This will be for Taurus Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. Personal reading links are below in the description box. Okay, so Taurus, looks like in the past position there was possibly some deception or um, a sense of hidden emotions okay um a desire to trust the intuition but there was what feels like something not fully be had been revealed to you on an emotional level okay but i see balance coming here in a relationship okay Let's take a look here. Yeah. It feels like um, there's a challenge in the present to get to try to have like a committed relationship or follow some structure. Um, I see marriage here, a commitment. It's, it's, but it, it seems like it's an obstacle because there might have been a situation in the past where somebody was not revealing their emotions in a way that would be, that would make it possible for you and your person to come into union, okay? But it feels like there's some change and shift that's happening here in the present. With temperance. Now we have Pisces, Sagittarius, and of course Taurus. Um, somebody here is trying to, it's divine timing. Someone here is trying to get into this position where they kind of like temper their emotions. Let's take a look again. I just want to see what's going on here with this, this moon card in the past. Okay, we have the Emperor, all this major arcana. Um, somebody was holding back their feelings for you, okay? Really, holding back, not giving you enough information, um, being very controlled, controlling their emotions, only revealing a little, a bit, like a bit at a time but just kind of like had you feeling like you were left out in the dark okay yeah this person definitely trying to get stable financially in their life presently right now okay challenge yeah trying to like take a risk and come into like a committed relationship all this centers around financial stability money marriage home trying to get themselves in a good career or financial standing to be able to afford things as well. Um, and trying to, it feels like bring peace to a family situation or a home situation, okay? And that fool card, like that's starting over here. And it's it feels like it's hard for this person or, or both of you to try to like take this risk and have a new beginning in, um, you know, coming into union with each other, okay? And I feel like you're, whoever it is that you're dealing with is really just trying to get themselves balanced here. Okay, driving this reading, all this major arcana, it's amazing. We have strength here. Somebody here is trying to get the courage. They're trying to get, and it's about self-love. I feel like your person has a hard time with self-love. And what's driving this reading is, an, is a desire to be courageous, to open up and express, because there might have been some, I don't know that it, it could have been some actual deception in the past, but it feels like this person was, or somebody here was like really, trying to control themselves, like not reveal how they feel or how they felt about you. Yeah, and I feel like this person, Queen of Cups, presently like coming down on them just to get in touch with how they feel. 
to get in touch with their emotions. I feel like this person wants to be more supportive and nurturing of the relationship. The near future, here we go. The Three of Pentacles. Trying to work together, trying to make something happen, trying to rebuild or start over from scratch, okay? Um, they know the opportunity is there. They know um, the investment is there to be made with you. Um, I feel like somewhere along the line, they saw the opportunity with you. And somewhere along the line, they saw that they needed to find a way um, to you know, balance things and figure out how to make things work. And I do feel like that's an internal thing that was going on with them. And I do feel like here, there's an opportunity to um, come together and try to build something, learn new, like learning new skills, okay? Um, but that's a card of marriage as well. But it's like, can we rebuild this, our relationship? Can we make this, you know, create something? Can we carve away all of the, the dead wood? And what's your advice here, Taurus? Okay, your advice is to just be patient. It feels like be patient. This person, Taurus, I feel like is really just trying to get themselves steady and stable. Like get on good solid ground in their life. And I feel like you know that and you've been patient, you've been waiting but you're also like contemplating. You need to really think here with the Seven of Pentacles. If you really are capable of um, waiting for the success to come, you know, there's a lot of hard work and you're being asked to be very patient in regards to this relationship. I don't feel like this, I don't feel like your person is really good with sharing their, their deepest feelings, their deepest emotions. And they, they attempt to deceive and, and perhaps in the past made it seem like everything was fine and they had it all together. Okay, let's take a look at them. Okay, all this pentacle energy showing up here. They have the six of pentacles and the king of pentacles. So generosity here. I feel like that your person really wants to be reciprocal in giving to you sharing the wealth <laughs> it really it, you know it's strange because it really it feels like it centers around finances and career with this person so we have virgo taurus capricorn we have leo aquarius taurus Pisces, Aries, Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio. This person, I really feel like um, it's a financial thing for them. Maybe they weren't working or they weren't there. They were trying to be like head honcho or CEO or something in their career. And they were so focused on that that they weren't focusing on the emotions. They just were pushing and suppressing and revealing very little to you about how they felt. Let's see, hopes and fears. Okay, hope for communication. Uh, somebody here is hoping that the spark is still there, or that the spark will still be alive going forward. Okay, hoping to communicate. Hoping, you, you might be hoping this person will initiate and say, hey, you know, I'm inspired to continue um, ha to have growth in our connection, okay? But it's mostly like, I feel like you're hoping that this person still has a thing for you or they still have that spark or that they're able to initiate that spark again with you. Let's take a look at the outcome here. <clears throat> oh, again, with the pentacle energy. The outcome is I see this person really putting in effort, really working hard to bring stability, to share with you, to be a stable um, person or uh, force in your life. Okay. I see this person, if, if they had other people that were influencing them, they, they're 
you know, shredding down and cutting out. Others who, you know, um, were trying to influence their life and bring abuse or, or harm. And I see both of you kind of like, you know what, we're cutting out these other people, places and things that have had an effect on our relationship that could be family members or friends or other people who were just bringing negative juju to the relationship. I feel like both of you really like cut those people out and get down to the bare bones of this connection. You know, what's really interesting to me, Taurus, is there the only cup energy here is this Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups is very nurturing, compassionate, and caring. And I feel like your person, look how she's looking into that cup. I feel like um, like you and your person are taking a look and looking into your cup and saying, what do we have here? You know, how much do how much love do we have in this relationship? You know, and being asked to take a look because it's mostly pentacle energy. It's mostly about stability. And I feel like your person may not have had that stability um, financially, but they also were someone who kept their emotions. So you never really know knew how they felt. But we definitely have, you have a new start here. You have this person um, really coming in and wanting to try to manifest, like laying all their cards out on the table here for you. That's Gemini Virgo energy. Let's take a look and see what the love messages are. Okay, chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Definitely. You guys feel that vibe with each other, you know? I feel like that's why you're still, you're st if you're still feeling this energy from this person and they're not, like you're not in speak on speaking terms or, or you're in separation, like that vibe is still there. You're feeling that from them. They're still feeling it from you. A soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. So 100%. It just feels like this person isn't really good with the emotions. They're better with the money. <laughs> and it feels like this person wants to show you, you know, I know, Taurus, you're, you're Venus ruled. This person seems to be like in this position. They might have had a father in their past that told them, you know, suppress your emotions. Just focus on work. Be a good provider. That's all your, your partner will need. Um, but they got advice from a male who um, wasn't that type of person either to, to show their emotions. Um, I feel like your person may, maybe has a little bit of difficulty with that. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you've got it to take. So I feel like this person is going to keep trying to make the effort with you going forward and try to make something happen here between the two of you. Um, but they're doing it in a way that may not be fulfilling to you. You know what I mean? Um, in On an emotional level, they don't know any other way to do it. It's not an excuse. You may have to bring them to that. But I feel with that Queen of Cups, they are taking a look at that. They're taking a look at their emotions. looking and seeing how they need to be more supportive and nurturing of you of your relationship nurturing of this connection you know um it feels like their energy is you know okay i know it can't be all about money i mean there's got to be an emotional connection i mean there's chemistry for sure between the two of you it's a it takes us a lot of effort for this person it's gonna take a lot of effort to get down to what's really underneath for them but it feels like they're willing to try retreat time alone or in nature will help you recharge okay second chance this relationship deserves a second chance sure if you want it if you want to make it work again this person wishes you would come back if you're separated they definitely want to try to make something happen and i see them going forward that they will uh, try to bring things back into balance and, and try to make 
it so that you guys can recreate or build or carve away everything that's that doesn't work in this relationship it's always interesting to me when i do a reading and there's no cup energy just very little very little and i feel like spirit is really trying to help both of you look at how she holds those two cups this is the angel holding two cups here okay which is the two of cups right like you guys might have everything down pat you know but the emotional connection even though there is chemistry the emotional connection needs a lot of work and I feel like your person, I don't know if you said to them, you know, I, I need you to open up or I need more affection or I need more kisses and hugs and, you know, um, like um, like the, the, the emotional aspect of it. I don't know if you said that to them. Um, I feel like they're taking a look at that for sure. The timing just wasn't right. And that's why I said divine timing. So if you're patiently waiting for this person or just moving on or if you've given up, I feel like that's just some reassurance for you to know that the timing just wasn't right back then for them to be able to do this. I don't know what happened to them. They do wish that they had treated you better. Yeah, financial challenges are affecting this connection. This person is just finance-centered completely work 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 it seems like it's all oh when's the next job when's the next paycheck when's the next console you know when's when's the next you know money like they they worry about money and they're always consumed with that i feel like you per this person does not want you guys they want to keep trying you may have to use your venus energy and lead them into love very gently and softly vulnerability you can be completely open with this person and it, it, that's good that might be one of the ways i feel like spirit's telling you try to be more vulnerable and open not to be attacked but just to share your emotions that's it say more like i statements i feel i feel now you do whatever you want i'm just bringing this out regret they feel remorse for the way they treated you they do and i don't feel like this they want to let you go whoever this person is, I feel like they want to keep trying. They want to keep putting the effort in, but there's an element here for you to understand how they operate. They know they made a mistake, definitely, whatever that might have been. I think it's mostly for suppressing their emotions and not sharing with you, but you guys are more alike than they like to admit. There's a lot of similarity here with your person, a lot. There's something about your connection You know, it could be you, maybe Taurus. I don't know. I don't necessarily feel like it's you who's having a hard time relating to them on an emotional level. I don't feel like that's hard for you to do. Um, I just feel like I don't. I keep going back to this Emperor and this Moon card. You know, this person kept their emotions hidden from you. And I feel like they do want to, they are taking a look at it and they are trying to um, figure out how to express that nurturing aspect of themselves towards you and be, you know, more um, healing and romantic, more supportive, emotionally supportive is how I mean. That's what I, I feel like the emotional support might have been lacking in this relationship they might have told you you know or asked you all the time well what's going on with your work or like are you working and i don't know if it's like did it feel like did your relationship feel like it was all business or something you know a lack of like how are you feeling today honey you know can i rub your feet you know um or someone that sits and paints your nails for you if you're female or you know whatever you know um making your coffee or making you breakfast like this these emotional things are you tired giving you a back rub it feels like they were just a bit disconnected from those emotions with you and that took a toll in this relationship and i feel like they see that they do they know but they had trouble loving themselves as well that self-love thing i don't feel like this person was very emotionally soothing to themselves they lack the courage 
to be that way in a relationship. So it's very interesting. That's a very strange reading. And I know it may not resonate for all of you. But it's just something that was coming up to me here. That most of the vibe of the pentacle energy. Like they, you know, they do want to give. And they do want to be supportive. And generous. And help. But they really have a hard time with that emotional aspect. You know, and they want to try to have that. And I feel like, um, well, you know, at the end of the day, you know, if you don't feel like that's fulfilling enough for you, you have to do what you have to do, you know. But you want to see some kind of spark and passion, and you are hoping for that with them. Yeah, here's the King of Swords. You could be dealing with an air sign. The King of Swords is very, you know, logical strategic this person has a strategic way about them you know like they could sit and play chess and they have no emotional reaction to things they they're just kind of like you know they're very self-sufficient it's almost just like emo emotions feelings i don't need that <laughs> you know always in their thoughts very cerebral type of a person strategies money career finances that kind of thing i don't really feel like this person's going to be able to just be in that venus energy like you i don't feel that fully i feel like um you have that power and and they don't and they come to you the way they come to you and if you're okay with you know them at least trying to put in effort then i mean that's great but you know if it's not fulfilling for you Taurus, then you have to make a decision. It doesn't make somebody a bad person. It just may not be what's going to work for you. So you obviously have to make a decision about what you want. Let me get a couple of um, wisdom oracle card messages for you. What does Taurus need to know here? Okay. <laughs> Page of earth of course again scholarly cheerful dependable mischievous time to get to work an excellent opportunity presents itself happy news about your career promotions scholarships new area of study all right so the message that's just coming through here to me right now for you taurus is this relationship work best if you're both on the same page i don't know that your person is capable of giving you that emotional connection they see it they know they got to do it but i don't know if they're capable of giving that to you and i feel like in in order for this relationship to continue on you may have to instead of trying to change them accept them and and focus on your studies your work the your ideas your new business you're trying to start or whatever you're trying to do um promotions going to school um i feel like it's a I, if i had to if i had to say anything about this relationship i would say it's like a working partnership that's what i would call it it's a working partnership but it's it's lacking the the depth of emotion it's a very strange thing here okay seven of swords a loss of peace of mind or personal freedom you may have to you may have to for those of you who want to stay that might be the consequence Make sure you're being honest with yourself if you're going to stay in this relationship. Are you able? You love this person so much, but are you able to accept who they are and how they operate? You know, if this person wants to make change, um, there is a possibility that they can or that they may because this is a card of making change. It's a six. Sorry, I had to look. <laughs> Harmony, appreciation, and self-sacrifice. Loyalty and responsibility. I feel like this person can be loyal. And they can contribute. Um, and I don't feel like the, they don't love you. I don't feel that way. I just feel like it's how they love that's different from how you love. And if that's going to work for you, it works for you. If it's not going to work, I mean, Spirit's saying that the relationship deserves a second chance. So... If you want to, go for it. If not, wait till next month and see if anything changes. All right, you guys. Um, so if you want a personal reading, link is description box below. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate it. And um, I'll see you very soon. Take care.